guys, Warband Please here, and today I'm going to give you some um, tips on what you should choose for your skills in um, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And this is mainly directed at uh, new players to help them out. Um, it's also going to be tailored to the realistic difficulty, which I think new players should try because it's you know it makes the game more challenging. You know, and it gives you like an even playing field with the AI and, you know, it just makes it more fun in my eyes. But we're just going to go through all the skills and, you know, a general overview of what you want to pick as a new player, right? So the first is, um, is your culture. Now, which culture uh, can be personal preference, but for a new player, I would suggest maybe Kuzates. 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on the campaign map. That means your horses go faster and you can outrun enemies if you have a lot of horses. So that might be good for a new player. And this is also good for a new player. 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battles, which means that you can upgrade your troops um, faster and you can fight you know, more high quality enemies, and which in turn gives you better loot and more money. And this is just preference. I wouldn't choose Sturgeon culture. I would only choose them that much. Because um, that's very specific. Like, you know, it's like um, snowing, like when it goes winter, yeah. So I wouldn't pick Sturgeons as a new player. I wouldn't pick Empire because this bonus here is very specific. It's very um, geared towards sieging and towns. So not good. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build. Again, if you're into trading, you can choose that, but I suggest for landings or Kuzates. Kuzates or Valenians are good, are good. But for this, I'm going to choose Valenians because they're good for the new players. That's my character. You can choose anything back in that character creation. Alright, for so new player when you're choosing. Um, what you want to do is get riding. So, riding in polearm, because polearms are pretty easy to use on a horseback, and, you know, you can, you have a lot of reach with them, and, uh, it's good for avoiding, um, the hits from the enemy, so, this is a good, um, choice for a new player, uh, Baron's Retainers, because you get riding in polearm, and one attribute point to social as well. Now, as uh, this one, the early childhood, I would pick uh, for a new player. Again, your skill with horses, you get more riding and medicine. Riding, again, is to make your horse faster, which you can outrun enemies with. And as a new player, you, you want that, because you, you'll be probably unskilled with the combat. So it's good to have a lot of riding to outrun if you, things go south. And medicine helps you with um, healing up after a battle, which is a bit annoying because you have to wait to get full health if you get downed in the field. So medicine is a good um, point. So you choose that. And what we got next? Um, again, I'm going to choose gathered herbs in the wild for a new player because you get medicine and scouting. Medicine again helps you with healing and scouting allows you to see more of the map, I'm sure, when you're like on the overworld map, which is useful because you can see um, what enemy parties are stronger than yours. So I'm probably going to um, suggest this one for a new player. And how you use. Now this probably depends on what um, type of weapon you want to choose. But if you're a new player, I suggest you choose a pole arm at the start of the game. So you can either choose trained with cavalry for uh, new players, or trained with infantry because you still get pole arm in one handed, which is all right. But it depends on what weapon you're choosing. So. I'm going to go for new players, this is a good one, um, riding a pole arm, because again, you want to use a pole arm as a new player. You also get 
a starting pole on right there. You can see on his back there, he has a, he has a lance, also a shield. This guy does not have a shield, see? And you're going to get effed if you don't have a shield as a new player. So you want to take that one. And now for this one, you want to take... Um, so, again, this gives you more pole arm. It also gives you a point to crossbow, which is pretty good. But the main thing is you, you want points in pole arm, right? Again, these ones are, are really like geared towards um, a specific play style, like trading and smithing. If you want to do trading, pick this one. But like pick um, choices that are with trading and smithing if you want to go that route. But I'm mainly focusing on the combat aspects of the game. So for this one, I would probably choose you hunted a dangerous animal because you get pole arm and crossbow. I mainly want the pole arm for this point because that seems the most useful. As you can see, we already got three focus points, I think, on pole arm, which is good. And a lot of points on riding as well, which is good for the other game, I think. But now this one, again, for new play, you want the road off on a fast horse because you get one point to riding and scouting, which is very useful in the early game, very useful. but late game's a different story okay but early game you want to try and survive personally and you want to inflict as much damage as possible as you the player okay so i'm just going to use a random name right here and of course you want all this unrealistic i find the the game's best unrealistic um and challenging combat ai because the, it gives a nice challenge I suggest also that you keep, uh, it depends on preference really, but I like to have birth and death on, keeps the game dynamic. And that's your um, starting skills for a new player that I, that I, would, I find um, myself that makes it easier and for new players. But if you're going for like a specific play style, you would not choose that. You choose one that's tailored to your play style. But this is good for new players, right? I just want to skip the tutorial. The tutorial is alright, but it's not the best thing I'm telling you what to do. It really just tells you how to train troops, it's pretty easy. And, um, yeah, that's um, that's my tips for the starting um, skills. But um, shortly another video will come out on uh, which... Um, character skills you should specialize in as you can see we got um focus points coming into pole on riding which is again awesome right so i'm going to go in the next video on which point which skills um you should put focus points into um so yeah uh, thanks for watching the video uh, like comment subscribe i hope you um, enjoyed this video and then uh, just comment below if you want to see more of the um videos about specific topics but yeah thanks for watching more we'll man please